Just like many little kids, and piglets too, Peppa Pig had just finished watching Finding Dory with her little brother George, but she wanted to get a head start on her fishing and catch her very own little Nemo. So here she was at the local fishing hole. But little George, he wasn't about to let his big sister Peppa catch a fish before him, and he had his own plans. George was going to catch a really big fish, so he brought a bathtub. Now, Peppa wasn't terribly pleased that her little brother George had shown up so quickly and before she had a chance to catch a clownfish, but she was sure her fishing skills far outmatched her little brother's. Oh look, a clownfish, said Peppa. Come my way, come my way, I've got to catch you. And George said, no, come my way, i got to get you. Come here, little Nemo, over here. No, 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 said Peppa, this way. I think he's biting, I think I've got him. And sure enough, George got Nemo. He was so happy. I'm going to love you forever, my little fishy, he said. Now come on and get in my bathtub. And Pepper Pig, well, she was actually a little bit excited too. And she decided to help George push the bathtub with Nemo all the way home. Wow, they actually caught a fish. It was their very first time. However, the clownfish wasn't quite as happy as they were. He wasn't sure what was going on. As soon as they got back home, George really wanted the clownfish to watch his favorite TV show with him. And he said, hey little clownfish, Nemo, watch my favorite TV show, isn't it funny? Hey, come on and watch the TV show. Come on, wh why aren't you watching my favorite TV show, he thought. But the clownfish seemed disinterested in the TV show and wouldn't even look in the direction of the TV. George was so confused. George had a new idea. Everyone likes playing with my ball. So hey, come on clownfish, let's play with my ball together. We can, we can play catch or soccer or any number of games. But again, the clownfish didn't seem at all interested in playing with George and his ball. George then decided to ask his older sister Peppa to give him some advice. Pepper, why won't my fish play with me or watch TV? And Pepper just said, well, George, he's just a fish. Maybe he can't watch TV or play with a ball. And George was even more confused. But he's my pet and he's my friend. What, what, what should I do? I don't know how to take care of a fish, he thought. And said, I better call somebody. George went and asked his mom if he could use her phone. And thought, okay, I'm going to call a superhero to come and help me. How about uh, Spider-Man? Or, no, wait a minute, PJ Masks. I'll ask, um... Cat boy. Cat boy can come and help me. He's a cat, so he really likes fish, right? Yeah, good idea, said Pepper. Go ahead and call Cat boy. So George went ahead and called Cat boy, and Cat boy answered right away and said, George, what's wrong? Do you need help with another toilet emergency? And George said, No, actually, I need help with a fish. Cat boy arrived in no time at all. And George promptly brought him into the living room and said, Cat Boy, what's wrong with my fish? He, he doesn't seem to want to do anything but just swim around in his bowl. He doesn't want to watch TV. He doesn't want to play with my ball. What's wrong? And Cat Boy said, Well, George, he's a fish. He can't do those things. George started crying a little bit. But then he started to slowly realize that indeed fish did need to be in water and they didn't actually have legs or arms. So of course they couldn't play with balls, or even really watch TV, because how could they hear from underwater? George decided that it was probably better if the fish went back home, because he'd be happier there. And Catboy and Peppa said, we'll help you, George. We'll help you return your friend. You're becoming such a big boy now. George and Catboy were almost back to the fishing pond and it was proving to be a lot heavier than George remembered. And he was also quite sad that he was going to lose his new friend, but he knew it was the right thing to do. Just one more big pull, George! And George grunted and pulled as hard as he could. Finally, George Catboy and his Nemo Clownfish were almost back to the pond. Soon, the Clownfish could go back to his home, but George was really sad. Just then, Nemo swam up really close to George and gave him a big smile. And George thought, Wow, you really are my friend, but you can't stay at my house, can you? You've got to go back to your pool. 
And Catboy said, That's right, George, not all animals can be taken home, and some need to be left where they belong, in nature. And George finally understood and knew he was becoming a big boy. And with a big splash, Nemo was back home with his friends. George was really happy, or so he thought, but then he realized, Now I don't have a friend to play with, and Catboy's got to go home. What am I going to do alone, he thought. Just as George's world was crashing around him, a small puppy appeared and barked. George jumped down and said, Hello there, little puppy dog. How are you? And the puppy barked. And George said, I think I like you. And the puppy nuzzled up to George. And George said, Wow, I bet I could play with a ball with you. And I'm sure you'd even like my TV shows. Come on, let's go play. Catboy and Nemo just couldn't stop laughing. How fast George makes new friends. Friends are really important, aren't they? What better way to spend a Saturday afternoon than playing video games on their laptops and smartphones, thought Pepper and George. It was so much fun and there were so many games, there was no way they could possibly play them all. Giggling and laughing and playing all day inside. But then, Papa Pig came along. Papa Pig started to say, When I was your age, we didn't have video games. We went outside and played. Well, now we do have video games, said the kids. And then Mama Pig came inside and also said, Yeah, when we were younger, we played outside on the weekends, not stuck inside playing video games. Stop wasting your time and go outside and enjoy the fresh air. Now, Hand over your smartphone and your laptop computer and get outside and play. Before they knew it, Mama and Papa had their smartphone and laptop and George and Pepper didn't know what to do. Mama and Papa Pig weren't going to change their minds and they insisted George and Pepper go outside and play. So George and Pepper nervously went to the great outdoors. What were they going to do outside without their video games, they thought. Mama and Papa Pig, satisfied that their kids were now outside, started to laugh together. He he he, now we can play video games and not be bothered at all. Let's play some games, said Papa Pig, and Mama Pig agreed. Just like Mama and Papa Pig said, it actually was a really nice day outside. And it was kind of fun to be out here, George thought. In fact, I'm going to go hide on my sister behind this tree. It's almost like a video game. Hide and go seek, I guess. And Pepper Pig said, George, where are you? I'm going to find you. And George laughed. You'll never find me. I'm hiding, he said. And sure enough, George really was good at hiding. And Pepper couldn't see him at all. George tried to remain quiet behind the tree. Pepper still couldn't find George. And she thought, maybe if I just cut through these trees, I'll find him. And George, sure enough, was hiding behind those trees when a small little animal came up to him. And George thought, wow, this animal is so much more realistic than my Minecraft pets. Hmm, thought Pepper. How can I get through here? I know, I'll just walk through. Ah, oh, what is this stuff? It feels like marshmallows and string. Oh, oh my goodness. I think I just got caught in a spider web, she said. And she couldn't see anything. She felt like she was floating in a big cloud. Where was she? What was she doing? Jo George, she said. Where are you, George? And George came around the tree and said, Oh my goodness, what's that? It, it, it's, a, it's a ghost, I think. Uh, uh, oh, is that you, Pepper? But it was all just too much for little George, and he fell down and started crying. Pepper had scared him, but George didn't know it was Pepper. He thought it was like a ghost in the forest, and all he wanted to do was go back home and play his video games. It was just too wild out here for him. George turned tail, and just as fast as a pig could run, he ran all the way home. Meanwhile, Mama and Papa Pig were having so much fun playing video games. No wonder the kids don't want to go outside. This is great, they thought. Suddenly, there was a loud crash and a bang, and George came in the room crying. Papa Pig and Mama Pig said, What's wrong, George? And George said, Go, 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 go
Now, Mama and Papa Pig knew George had a very, very vivid imagination. And George was gesturing to the window to prove himself. Come and look, Mom and Pa. Come and look. And so Mama Pig and Papa Pig walked over to the window. And sure enough, they saw something strange outside. What was it? A white ball? A cloud? It, it was a ghost. Wow, George was right. A ghost was outside. That can't be a ghost, exclaimed Papa Pig. We have to get a closer look and see. So they inched towards the window and had another look. Yeah, sure enough, it was a ghost and it was making all kinds of funny sounds and moving erratically. Mama Pig immediately said to Papa Pig, it's time for you to get out there and see what's going on. But Papa Pig said, no, I'm scared of ghosts actually, but don't tell George. And George said, it's time for us to do something. Papa Pig, you've got to call a superhero, maybe Spider-Man or PJ Masks, and hurry. Papa Pig picked up his phone and first he dialed Spider-Man. It rang a few times, but no answer. So then he decided to call PJ Masks. They were always in the neighborhood and always willing to help for things like ghosts. And sure enough, Catboy answered the phone and said he'd bring over the whole team if necessary and get rid of the ghost once and for all. After hanging up the phone, Papa Pig exclaimed, Once again, Papa Pig has saved the day. Now come on family, let's go by the window and watch Catboy rescue us from this terrible ghost in our yard. Meanwhile, the Pepper Pig family had forgotten about Pepper Pig, but we'll see what happens with that later. Come on, let's go watch outside the window. Pepper Pig couldn't hear, see, or speak properly, and suddenly she saw something blurry through the cobweb, something blue, and then something red, and she wondered what it was, and then she saw something green, and she was sure they were speaking to her, but she couldn't quite understand, and they couldn't understand her, because the cobwebs were everywhere. What was she going to do? Catboy, Owlette, and Gecko were equally confused, and they said, something in there is trying to communicate with us, but I don't understand what it's saying. Maybe it is a ghost, or, or perhaps an alien, or maybe it's just a, a kid trick-or-treating a few weeks early. We don't know, but we better play it safe. Come on guys, I have a plan. Everybody gather around and let's drop the net. The PJ Mask airplane swung overhead and dropped a giant net on top of Peppa Pig. The net landed perfectly and trapped the alien ghost inside. Now PJ Masks decided, let's carefully see what we've got inside and pull it to somewhere a little bit safer. And they pulled and they pulled and oh, poor Peppa Pig fell down. It was then that Catboy heard a small sound, an oinking sound. And he said, this is no alien or ghost. It sounds like a pig. Hey guys, come on, let's unwrap this net and see what's inside. Then, Gecko and Owlette both heard the sound too. It indeed was oinking. It was muffled, but it was definitely oinking. The team quickly pulled off the net, and what was revealed was a grandmother pig. An old, old grandmother pig with her gray hair. And sure enough, it was not an alien or a ghost, just an old lady. But wait a minute, that's not an old lady. That's Peppa Pig. And, oh, oh my goodness, it's just a spider's web. Wow, we made a big mistake and you sure scared your brother. You scared him enough that he went and called us to rescue their family. Your mama and papa are inside the house and they're too scared to leave. And Pepper said, wow, I guess I am the scariest member of this family. This is gonna be a great Halloween. Peppa Pig said to the PJ Masks team, Well, now that that's all over, why don't you guys come in the house with me and we'll explain to my family what really happened. Mama, Papa and George were backed up against the sofa as what they thought was a ghost was coming in the house, but was actually just Pepper Pig with a little bit of cobwebs in her hair and the PJ Mask team giggling behind her. It indeed had been a mistake and the whole family was scared of Peppa Pig wrapped in cobwebs. How silly! Peppa was really starting to enjoy the shock on her family's faces. 
She unintentionally had scared her whole family by walking through his cobweb. And her favorite superheroes, PJ Masks, were in her house. It was a great day. And so she said to her family, I know what I'm going to be this Halloween. And Mama, Papa, and George said, what? A PJ Masks character? Or a, a giant cobweb? And Pepper said, no, silly. I'm going to be a spider. Have a happy and safe Halloween, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.